My name is Jean Mercer, J-E-A-N-M-E-R-C-E-R. -E -E and your, uh, your job title? I'm the Director for Civilian Human Resource Systems and Business Transformation across the Department of Navy. Excellent. All right, so um, could you explain the DOORS program to me just a little bit briefly? Two years ago, Secretary Garcia challenged us to find one system, one tool where wounded warriors could go in order to be referred for civilian positions. The DOORS program provides that opportunity. It's an automated system where wounded warriors can go and they could go to any Department of Defense Civilian Human Resource Office and say when they're ready to come back to work after they've gone through medical and they've deemed that in their, at that point in their life within 30 days they're ready to go find a job. They could go to any Department of Defense civilian personnel office and say I like to register for the DOORS program. The beauty of this, the Department of Defense hires more than or has a civilian population of 800 to 900,000 civilian positions. Within the Department of Navy, we have 201,000, of which 57% of uh, are veterans. So with the DOORS program, a wounded warrior who could be a Marine or a sailor could be at home in Omaha and be near an Air Force base. And they could go to the Air Force Personnel Office, and they could register in the DOORS program. Any hiring manager across the Department of Defense could ask his or her human resource office, could I have a list of wounded warriors that are currently in the DOORS database that meets the skills or competencies he or she needs for their position. Outstanding. Um, so what advice would you give to someone that's a wounded warrior that is at that pivotal point where they did seven of what they thought was going to be 20 years in the military and now they sort of feel lost or you know they're looking for something like DOORS? What advice would you give them about the program? The advice that I would give a wounded warrior when they're ready to go back to work would be to talk to either the uh, regiment or to contact a civilian personnel office and um, ask about DOORS registration. He or she could also go to the Department of Navy um, Office of Civilian Human Resources website. We have a web page that talks about DOORS, talks about how to be eligible, and how to go about reaching one of our five uh, DOORS refer and wounded warrior um, transition specialists who would counsel that wounded warrior. They go over their resume, they talk about their MOS, how they can take what they've done in the military and translate that into something that's amenable or equivalent in the civilian arena and to the jobs that we offer. Excellent. And on that note, what are some of the, the benefits and advantages for employers when they're hiring from the military? The advantages for a hiring manager and hiring a wounded warrior is the teamwork. They come with that experience of working with the team, their uh, leadership and the skills that they have learned within the Department of Navy or the Marine Corps or the Air Force or the military unit that they've been with. They come with skills and knowledges that the Department of Defense, the military services provide our military servicemen and they come ready to work and to be able to meet the challenge and they know the mission of the military service and they've proven that they hold that in honor and ready to meet that challenge of the military service. Um, so what are some of the uh, opportunities the program offers to the wounded warrior? The advantages or the opportunities the DOORS program offer the wounded warrior is it is a database or a live line to reach. Uh, they're automatically referral if they meet the skills and the competencies for the jobs that we have. And we do have a number of jobs within the Department of Navy that parallel to the military service. There's supplies, there's logistics, and um, cyber, IT. If you look at um, corpsmen, there would be eligible for many of the medical positions that we have across the Department of Navy. So doors provide not only the veterans, one place to go 
and be considered for jobs within the Department of Navy, as we've said before, the other military services. And for the hiring managers, instead of each major command, as you may have heard today, what they were doing is each major command may have kept their own database. This gives them a broader variety of access to jobs, and um, not only within the Department of Navy, but again across the Department of Defense. some things that some people might not know about the program? I think people don't even know the program exists. It's one that it's taken um, the Department of Navy Human Resource staff a couple of years to partner with our counterparts in the military services to derive the uh, mechanism to use this tool and we've launched a, a marketing campaign to bring about an awareness that this referral system is available. It's ready to register. We need to have our wounded warriors registered so that when the hiring managers come and say, could you please give me a list of qualified wounded, wounded warriors who are ready to come to work, we want to be able to have the valuable names in there in order to hire the, pro in order to provide the hiring managers. So it's not only that this is a new system, it's reaching the wounded warriors so they're registered. It's reaching the hiring managers that you don't have to keep your own databases anymore. There's one means to come in and, and get the names for the positions that we offer. Outstanding. And um, kind of touches on this next question. What are some of the short-term and long-term goals for the program, and how, how are you uh, currently trying to achieve them, and which ones have you achieved already? Okay, let's it's see. Short -term and long. Let's, let's go, what are the short term and long term goals? Make that okay. one question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The short term is we now have a central database that's across the Department of Defense. We need to get the wounded warriors aware of it, what the eligibility, and when they're ready to come to work within 30 days to register in this program, to reach out to our transition, our wounded warrior transition counselors, so they can be registered. The other short-term goal is to bring about an awareness for our hiring managers. You need to come in and ask to, to, give, to ask for that list, to say, I need, I want to see the names. Secretary Garcia, we're talking that every time a hiring manager comes in and wants to fill a job, he or she will automatically get a list of wounded warriors that are registered in this program that are qualified for his or her position. When you ask me what's the long-term, the long-term would be to take doors and to make it and bring it into the 21st century in which there is a logic table when people, because not everyone understands the eligibility requirements for doors. And to be able to run through a series of questions that say, no, I'm a veteran, but I'm not eligible for this program, but link you to a page that talks about all of the various hiring authorities and other means by which a veteran can find a job within the Department of Navy or the Department of Defense. For those that fall through this logic table that say, yes, you're eligible, you could register in the DOOR system, that it links them over and it brings up so they could provide some of the preliminary information that a counselor would need that shortens that period of time to get them referred so they can get a job. That's the long-term goal, is to modernize the tool. And how we're going about doing that with Secretary Garcia reaching out to his counterparts across the services and to PNR at Department of Defense, that will provide the means to get the, the funding in order to modernize the tools. What we're doing in the short term is collaborating with our counterparts in the other military services, launching a marketing campaign that you've seen today to reach out to the wounded warriors as well as the hiring managers. Okay. One of warriors have served our country, and transitioning into civilian service is another way of serving your country. They bring the skills and the talents and the teamwork that they experience in the service, and they bring that, and, and that same opportunity is provided to doors to join on the civilian side, 
Marines call their Marines, there's the active duty Marines, but then there's the civilian Marines. It's still serving your country. It's just in a different form, in a different capacity. It's still meeting the mission of the nation, the Department of Navy. The benefits in transitioning, if you would, from military to civilian, other than still accomplishing the mission of the country and the mission of Navy, would be that your time in the military service is creditable towards sort of intangible and tangible things like your leave. Um, military time can be bought back, which is then applied towards retirement under the civilian retirement system. So with the, the other benefits within the civilian arena, or like other um, employment, you have health insurance, you have life insurance, you can retire with an annuity, and um, that time as the military can be bought back and would it be creditable towards your military in your civilian retirement time. So now, do you want to throw some numbers at me? I do. <laughs> because we are very proud of these numbers. Within the, the Department of Navy, we have 201,000 201, uh, civilians. And of that, 57% are veterans. We hire, on an average, a year anywhere from 16 to 23,000 civilians. Of those hires, we average 59% are veterans. And of the 59%, 14% are disabled veterans. And we're very proud of those numbers and the marketing and the success of that marketing. And uh, now, is there anything else to add? <laughs> <laughs> Check with the panel. Linda, is there anything else? 